I see someone wearing a fur coat, the first thing that comes to my mind is why. Why do you need to have a fur coat? Why? You could be just as warm in, in, in any other kind of coat that hasn't you know, been made by killing animals. Why? And it's ugly. You really look ugly, I don't think you get it. <laughs> I wanted to get involved with PETA's anti-fur campaign because it's just how I was raised to believe that you should not wear fur. And I wanted everyone to know that that's what I believe in. And I'm proud of that. So I wanted you know, to be a part of this campaign and uh, to let everybody know that there are other options and there are other ways around it. And it's how I feel. I found a dog on the set of Glee one day when we were shooting on location. He'd been left outside, his nails had grown into his paws, he had been terribly you know, ignored. I don't know how long he'd been um, abandoned. Took him to the vet, got him all cleaned up. We put up signs just to make sure it wasn't a lost dog. But he now has a lovely home, I named him Charlie. And he lives with one of our cast members from Glee. I also found some kittens on the Paramount lot. Um, that I now have two at home, Sheila and Claude, and I love them very much. One of the best books that I read is the Skinny Bitch book. And it's, it's an interesting name because you think when you look at the cover that it's about being skinny, and which, you know, I really don't care about. But I read it because I heard that it had really great information about the process of, of especially the dairy, you know, dairy and meat. I do not eat meat. Um, and after reading that book, it completely changed my mind about the dairy industry as well. And I definitely think it's a great book about being healthy and smart and doing good for your body while at the same time, you know, being kind and smart to um, animals. I try to do as much as I can because it's just what I'm passionate about. And I think that you should find what you're passionate about if it's being anti-fur or if it's spaying and neutering your cats and to do everything that you can for that because you just live once and like I said, these animals don't have a voice, so why not? I got involved with PETA because I saw something on television for PETA that really moved me. And I just went on the website like anyone else and I made a comment in the comment box, asked how I could help, and PETA contacted me. And so it's so easy to get involved. I didn't get involved because I had someone call someone. I just got involved by going online. And so you can do the same thing.